Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the binary tree uh, program. Uh, it's an array representation of binary tree or binary search tree actually. So we're gonna here do what we have declared an uh, header file and maximum true equal to one, false equals to zero. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have two things. One is info and one is used. Info is the data what you wanna put in and use it is uh, you wanna say with every element that is it uh, filled up or not. If it is filled up, any node which is filled up we say use it as one otherwise it's zero so uh, then we go to the main <coughs> we have the main program which is here right so here I declare two variables P and Q P will uh, variable will go will have the uh, you know it, it will point to the parent node and Q will point to the child node whether it may be left son or right son okay so first I'm asking the root and putting the num and sending to the make tree. Make tree actually initializes my tree, sets the root node, and all other nodes uh, they used will be uh, you know uh, they used will be zero. That is false, like here. So I'm saying make tree entire node of zero dot info. I'm sending it that data value, the node of zero. I put that in a zero value. That's my root. Say for example, I put in some uh, say I put in uh, uh, whatever like ten. I put in 10 okay in my uh, this value I, I put in 10 here this is my root so if this is a binary tree and binary search tree what you're gonna do is we have the left sun and right sun and left sun will be p twice p plus 1 okay and uh, right sun will be twice p plus 2 if it's a right sun that will be twice p plus 2 if, if the p is 0 for example 0 into 2 is 0 plus 2 is 2 that is this one and similarly this one will be left child okay so I what I done is I filled up with here I am filling up this uh, value of x that's 10 for example which I got in the main into the root portion okay then that's my root node of 0 to x info is good x and node of 0 to used is good true and the true user value of this node is set to true okay then from one i is good one remember this is one not from zero because zero is uh, the root we had done it with and rest of the nodes unki jo hamari pass user hoga will set to as false that means zero okay now we go back to our main <coughs> this is what we did here make tree line number 59 make tree and what has done root node has been set and rest nodes will have in their uh, use it zero. I'm asking the uh, user to enter the uh, you know data into the tree, but you can control Z in our end of file. When you press end of file, you get out of this white loop, out outer white loop. So what I'm doing is I'm initializing P and Q to zero. Let me start up. Yeah, I'm starting from the root. Okay. Then I'm saying if Q is less than max, that Q should not have gone uh, beyond the array. And uh, node of Q dot use it not equal to zero, or I can say dot use it only. I mean, it should be have something if you want to compare with it uh, that it should have there or something and um, num whatever you put in here that should not be the duplicate this is for duplicate this is for is there something or not if there's something we have to compare should I go to the left or right if there is nothing we should put in there so what I'm saying first p is 0 q is 0 that means we are talking about root node okay is node of q means node of 0 that means root dot use it true yes that is because that is set by the make tree because that is true right so we say p equals q this time there will be no effect because p will be zero q will be zero now i'm saying if the num the number i put in say if i put in the number say for example five okay that that's going to be less than node p of dot info right it will be less than so node p is node zero this time parent is zero that means root node ka info jo hai usme 10 hai kya number five usse chota hai haan hai to we should go to the left child how q equal to p plus one it will go to the left child agar bada hota to it will go to the right child but it will carry on because I have I don't have to stay here because this time it will, it will get out of this. Uh, it has done it. Uh, it. That means Q has gone to the one. Q has gone to one portion, right? Q has gone here. If, for example, I my, the number I put in is say for example five. So if I say five, five is less than ten. Okay, that is node P dot info. What are we talking of here? So it will go to the left child. So Q becomes this guy okay then in this uh, when you come back to this while loop this condition becomes false because node of q that is node of one dot use it is zero right it is zero 
it's not it's not one because there's nothing here so we get out out of this loop and we come here i'm saying again kya ye num uh, info ke barabar to ye 10 ke barabar to nahi tha wo nahi tha kyunki agar hota to ye duplicate deta okay agar chota tha ha chota tha is waqt to ye cheez hoga set left ko call hogi and it will drop what it, it will what it will do it will drop here that element in the set left 5 for example okay agar right hota to ye yahan pe dalta okay it will go, go back to the while loop okay it will go back to the while because i want to i want to feel more nodes for example we'll go back to this while loop here it will initialize again p q 0 set wapas q to yahan pe gaya tha it will it come back here p will be here q will be here at the zero position right both pointing to the zero okay so <clears throat> now say for example i put in some element say what is that say i put put in uh, i put in 6 i put in element 6 say for example i put in element 6 here so q is not gone array, uh, array and node of q of 0 node of q dot use it that means this time uh, 0 yes that is true yes that is and we don't have put a duplicate so it goes down it puts p equals to q means no fark 0 0 now num that is 6 is that less than 10 because node p is 0 is there less than 10 yes that is so we should go to its left child so it it will go into this q is equal to 2 into p plus 1 that means that becomes 1 q becomes 1 so q is here but it will not stop here because it will go back to the while loop okay uh, now this will this will this will this will be you know you see why we did this because node of q q is this time 1 dot use it yeah that is also true that is also true so that means i mean isme data nahi bharna hame aage chalna chahiye now here it goes down p equals to q p has come p will come down q is here p will also come here p is equal to q and q hame kya 3 pe jana hai 4 pe jana it will decided by the uh, data data is 6 so 6 is greater than so here we will see that uh, the, uh, it will not go this and go this because now is greater than node p of info so we should go here so is q is equal to 2 into p plus 2 p is here this time here 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 so it will go out of the fourth location here so q is here so p stays at a parent and q has gone here right now it will come back now this time node of q dot use it is false now 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 it, it it has to get out of this loop because we have reached the q where we should drop in so it should go out of the loop it's going out of the loop and it will go here it chucks the duplicacy and it drops exactly set left or set right because this this time it is set left so it calls the set left sends the parent and the number okay we can change it uh, later on we can uh, don't need to say p direct, directly send the q and drop in there but i'm sending p here okay so i'm sending the p the parent so i have to calculate q again then uh, right or left and then uh, then accordingly i will do what i will drop in there i will drop in there and make its uh, use it true that's what we do in a set left set right that's quite obvious you drop in into the q element say for example 6 and uh, so you will say node of q dot info uh, info equals to this number and node of q dot uh, user equals to true so this is true this time filled up so it will go so do the side set right it comes back here and uh, where it comes back to the this while loop gets another, another number say this time around i get the 20 for example i get the 20 for example i get the 20 okay and we'll come up here uh, and p and q again initializes gets clears them p and q both here right get him get them back and uh, say p equals q if num is less than node of p dot info uh, yep that's not that's so it should go here because uh, it's 20 this time so it will it will do this it will go to the right child so 2 into p 2 into 0 plus 2 is 2 so it will go here and now it's not a cure to use it is not true so it's 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 zero so it comes out of this it will see should i go to the left or right according to the info so definitely we should go to the right this time and it will set in here in the right what we do let us see what will right and do is actually it drops in data and it will drop in data as we go here this is my set left for example is this is set left what what it does in a set left it creates a queue because we have sent the parent so it calculates the queue queue 2 into p plus 1 and checks whether the queue has gone the max so it will say overflow otherwise you know he say not of queue are used true okay if not of queue is true because if uh, somehow we are dropping somewhere uh, that which is true it's already true so we should say invalid insertion otherwise actually it will do this uh, not of queue info is good x and not of queue is good true okay this will it will do this thing okay and right will be same thing only difference will be it will do 2 into p plus 2 okay q it will calculate as a right child it will do plus 2 here only difference other than same 
non signing parent and the value which is to be inserted checking for overflow and uh, invalid insertions uh, otherwise it will work fine okay so similarly it will do it here and uh, set right set left and then we display that's as simple as it is right so i think it will work if you drop in the data okay if you run it now time to run it enter the root you are trying to enter the root say root is my 10 then i go to the left child say for example five then i'm putting the six then i'm putting say less than five that's four that should go to the left of the four and then i go to the 20 on the right that should go right of the 10 and say 15 left of 20 and say 25 right of 25 right and i say Control z to get out of it and display me oh ho ho there is some problem let us see what's the problem it's i guess the problem Control z because i put in Control z with the number so it gives gives a problem so i say um i say i say first the 10 then uh, this is the root node i go to the left say five i go to the left and the right of the five that means nine and four to its left okay then 20 to the right of the this 10 it should go to the right of 10 20 15 will go to the left of the 20 and 25 should go to the right of the 20 right and if i do control z now to end this loop and to display we got here so first of all let me do this also uh, we see here this 10 5 should be here 20 should be here and uh, this time I want to say 9 here 9 should be here and then a 4 should be here and 25 should be to this portion and 15 should be to this portion right so that means 0 position 10 1 position is 5 as you could see here 2 position is 20 3 position is 4 5 position is 15 5 position is 15 that's this guy right perfect and 6 position is 25 6 position is 25 okay okay so it's giving perfectly so 10 5 20 4 then 9 then 5 15 and then 25 so it's a perfectly uh, in a binary search tree so this is how we do it in, in an array now we're gonna do it with the linker list and also see how we do the traversing like in order uh, traversal pre-order and post-order and implement in the linker list basically okay because if you, if you don't fill up the things the array will get on you the unused uh, boxes unused array elements and if you want more and you have only 10 uh, blocks so you can't work out so that's why we're gonna go for linker list okay that's all for today thanks for watching